All right, guys, we're doing some more work on the SV today. Uh, I got the front clip pulled off here. As you can see, I'm gonna go and disassemble it and clean it and see what kind of body work I can do. Get it painted. Uh, I put the last coats of paint on the back panels last night and uh, they're looking pretty good. I gotta buff her out, um, buff them up real, real good and shiny. They look real, real good. I'm real happy with how they turned out. Uh, once I get them back on, I'm gonna figure out something for this rear fender here because it is a monstrous giant pain in the ass trying to put the cover on and off um, and it looks like shit but I can't really line that up until I get the back panels back on so uh, hopefully I can get that done either later today or um, later this week or early next week sometime soon but uh, I'm making slow but steady progress still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for that dent I don't like it Operation SV continues. All right, guys, so here are, well, it's about half of my bike. <laughs> uh, it's all stripped down. Um, I have got my GSXR rear wheel uh, with a new tire on it. It'll give me a 180, um, 55, 17 tire. It'll give me a little bit better tire selection, uh, a little bit wider contact patch. Um, it's a, uh, quite a bit lighter as well. Um, I've got the kit to mount that to my SV here from uh, TWF Racing. Um, I got the uh, sprocket carrier uh, and then the brake bracket is back there as well. I sent them off to be machined and machined them uh, and sent them in with the spacers. There's a spacer here, there's another one behind the sprocket carrier on that, the wheel and then there's another one on the other side of the wheel. Um, that helped line everything up perfectly. Um, I got a 525 um, by 45 tooth chain uh, sprocket here. Um, I put a new 525 chain on it just a little bit ago, so I didn't want to make the jump to a 520 because that chain I've got on it has about 10 miles on it. Uh, and that's a big waste of money. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting that uh, put on there one day when it's not 30 degrees outside. Uh, I got the front pulled off. As you can see, it needed quite a bit of body work. Um, the blue tape here, um, there's some more over here, and uh, I'll post some pictures up. There were some on the other side. Those were cracks. Um, I did some uh, some plastic weld, pulled, used the tape to pull it together and put some plastic weld on there. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of body filler on it. There's about the same amount on the other side. Uh, hopefully I can sand that out and, uh, and, and get the worst of the, the body rash out of it. Um, then we'll hit it with some primer and uh, see what other spots I need to fill before we paint it. Um, got the fender pulled off. I need to sand that down. It really doesn't have any damage on it, thankfully, uh, but I need to sand it down so I can prime it. Uh, I've got the tail section here is all finished and uh, pretty well assembled. I just got to slap it back on the bike again on another day when it's not 30 degrees out. Um, I fixed one of the lugs on the headlight mount. It had broken off in a wreck, um, so I epoxied it back on. It appears to be lined up correctly. And, uh, you know, if I can get these two pieces painted um, in the next week or so, I can probably get it all banged together in a single day, and uh, I'll have myself quite the little bike. Uh, and that's it for now. Uh, we'll uh, keep you guys posted as work continues on this wonderful and challenging uh, winter project.